guys, Clay Hayes with TwistedStave.com. Now today we're going to take a look at one of the most important but often neglected skills that you can develop as a bow hunter, and that's how to properly sharpen a broadhead. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do everything freehand, but these techniques will also work with jigs, so don't let that scare you. Um, what we're going to be working on today is a two-blade single bevel broadhead. This is actually one of the original uh, Grizzly El Grandes. Um, and right now this broadhead is very dull. I've been shooting it in the dirt. Um, it's, it's dull as a butter knife. Uh, but when we get done with it, it'll be razor sharp. And when I say razor sharp, I mean you ought to be able to slick a spot off on your arm with very, very little effort. Now the first thing that you need is some way to hold the broadhead uh, horizontal. Now this is a uh, this is a little clamp off of a, a knife sharpening jig, and all I'm going to do is clamp my broadhead in this thing, and then I'm going to clamp it into my other uh, table vise so that it holds it perfectly flat like this. Probably the most important thing that you're going to be uh, keeping an eye on when you're sharpening something freehand is matching the bevel, first of all matching the bevel that's on the blade and then maintaining that bevel all the way up and all the way down the head. If you're changing bevels as, you're, as you uh, uh, make your strokes, uh, it's, it's not going to work. So we're going to match that bevel and make sure that we maintain that all the way up and down and we're going to file this thing into the head until we build up a little burr down here on the bottom and you can feel it if you take your finger and rub it and rub out like that you can feel right here I've got a little burr starting but up here I don't feel one yet so I'm going to keep on filing until I feel that burr Now I can just barely start to feel that burr coming up all the way down. I've got a little spot right here that I'm not feeling it yet, so I'll keep taking off steel until I can feel it all the way down. All right, now I can feel a burr down here below all the way up and down this edge right here. So now what I'm going to do, and if you look closely, and I, I can't get the camera close enough to show you, but if you look closely, you can actually see a very, very thin uh, uh, piece of the very edge of this blade uh, that you can actually bend up and down with your with your fingers if you do like that. That's what you want. You want to get that burr on there. So now what we're going to do is take our, our file or our stone and come and lay it flat on this side of the blade since this is a single bevel blade and then just drag it back into the blade and cut that burr off. Now sometimes what will happen is you'll roll that burr back up towards this side and that, if that happens that's okay. Just come back this way and just so lightly cut it off that way. Now at this point this broadhead is pretty doggone sharp but we're going to take it two more steps and just hone it down so that it is uh, razor sharp. 
Now at this point, I can I can shave a few hairs off, but it's nowhere close to being as sharp as I want it to be. See, I can get I can get a few hairs off, but that's that's not good enough. Now the next step in our sharpening process, I'm going to use my truck. You're probably asking yourself, how in the heck is he going to use his truck to sharpen a broadhead? Well, I'm going to tell you, there's uh, a very good honing stone right here in your window. It's a very fine, uh, fine stone, and it'll put a very keen edge on a blade. Now, sharpening a blade on a truck window really isn't any different than what we were doing in there. You have to maintain that bevel uh, over the entire length of the blade. It really doesn't take many strokes on your truck window, or it shouldn't. This is just a just to put a razor, real keen edge on it. Uh, you should have done most of the sharpening with your file or your or your coarse stone. You know this really kind of works like a ceramic sharpener. On the so on the uh, on the beveled part of this, you need to follow the bevel. And then on the flat side of these blades, just lay this thing flat. Take a stroke or two like that. All right, now after you get done with uh, making the strokes on the truck window, you ought to be able to slick the hair right off your arm, just like that. But we're going to take it one more step. Now for this next step, I've just got a piece of leather right here and I've got some buffing compound rubbed on it. And all we're going to do is strop this thing and that's going to put the finest edge that you can possibly get on it. I'd say that thing's ready to go hunting. 